hey what's up soldiers my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and welcome back to another tier list video where today we're going through every single sniper and tactical rifle in call of duty zombies history from all the games and today i'm joined by lucario how's it going man hello lads i'm basically here to just sim for some infinite warfare and world war ii weapons yeah he's but, here uh, to yeah. kind of let me know about some of these because i'm I, here to provide context yeah i don't really know all of them uh, but you guys may remember Lucario for doing the zombie quiz that a lot of you guys enjoyed. So uh, he's back and uh, coming in with the respect for all the other weapons that I have no idea how good they are or not. But uh, let's jump into it. Uh, we're going to start off with the Dragonov from Black Ops 1. What do you think on this one? So Dragonov is pretty good for killing George, obviously yeah uh i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going back and forth between my spreadsheet and stuff like that because a lot of this stuff i've if you don't know i've been trying to get this whole list of like uh every single weapon and what the maximum one hit round capabilities each weapon has i'm yeah. probably never gonna actually finish it but i've been uh, working on that for like a good while i think so, i personally think the dragon is good to be honest like it's definitely not amazing but the way like it just how good it is for killing George, I think it, automatically it makes it good. Niche, it has its niche need. Yeah. If that makes sense. I we'll put it at good and we can rank these as we go as well. Uh next up is the L96. So I mean this one also the has the, the ten times. The thing about the L96 and the Dragonov is they both do the same damage. They both drop at the yeah. same round. Mm -hmm. So it's literally just the Dragonov that gets shots out faster. So I'd probably say that the L96 goes a little bit lower just because of that like behind it in good or meh uh i'd probably just put it in meh okay that's fine all right the black ops 2 m14 <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're all basically the same i would say hmm i feel like i, mean, I don't are, use the m14 that much in bo2 yeah. like i feel like it's I'm kind the of same, same way i am m14 gang we're both we're all m14 gang here but basically it's just double the damage that it was in black ops 1 that's that's all so and i would then, say i would say it's good honestly again it serves its purpose in the low rounds yeah we'll, we'll put it at good next up is the fal from bo2 the fn fal or whatever i personally don't hate this weapon that much i just don't like when you pack a punch it and it's a three round burst that's like the main the problem i have with too it slow for me yeah it like it's one of those bursts that like holds you back so you can't keep like spamming the trigger yeah. and that's that's the only thing that really annoys me like this weapon is really good like headshot damage wise and stuff especially like uh, you know around like anywhere from like i don't know max round 20 or something like if you can have a fast enough trigger finger it's gonna do a lot of damage so i would say this one's good as well i think it's better than the dragonov and the m14 though maybe not the dragonov we'll put it before the m14 all right next up is the barrett m82a1 this thing is absolute garbage dude i well the main the main problem with it is just its ammo it's not really it's not really like bad it shoots wise, really just, slow and it doesn't have uh and it has a lot of recoil yeah the only time i ever get this from the box on like mob of the dead for example is to do the jump scare that's literally the only reason i would ever take this like i'll pick it up on transit just because the uh the long shot from a perk but other than that yeah i mean that cute. that definitely makes some of the snipers better than others but i would say i i would say bad i don't think it's very good uh next up is the dsr i mean it deals so much damage pseudo wonder, weapon. pseudo wonder weapon yeah okay the iron sight dsr is by far my favorite sniper or marksman rifle in any call of duty period like i don't think it can be beaten personally uh next up is the ballista so you get the iron sight ballista only on origins when you pack a punch it it's pretty fun to use and it actually deals a good amount of damage to the panzer um i've only packed punched it a couple times though so. Alyssa is actually the weakest sniper still in black ops 2 is it would you say it's in like good because i i personally I really enjoy using it i just don't think I it's great pick it up. okay i never pick it up so we'll say meh then we'll put it behind the l96 even though like is what i was talking about with the barrett is like it's got good damage it's just well maybe that that could also be the uh the perma perk or whatever on buried or whatever doing that but for yeah. on, uh, transit either one you know you know what i mean all right next we got the svu and uh i'm pretty sure this has the highest headshot damage 
or like highest damage for black ops 2 weapon um i would say this is probably a pseudo DSR wonder weapon as well more powerful i would i would say this is up there with the dsr what do you think i like the dsr better than the svu i kind of think svu is a little bit overrated but well you can put it in amazing i think i definitely think it's amazing i it's, think just, it's like, super I mean, good for the that it's pseudo wonder weapon just because of it being a wall buy and stuff like that and i think that just kind of elevates it okay. more than it actually kind of hypes it up more than it actually is yeah I'm not saying that it's bad or anything but like well the marksman perma perk on the svu is like my go-to on like buried to fill my bank like yeah it's so good because you have so much bullets like shots and it it deals high headshot damage with the shadowy veil um pack punch yeah <laughs> uh next up is the mk14 i'm gonna be honest like i know this is from i think advanced warfare Exos, yeah um i don't even this thing is like is this a it... wall buy in the spawn room yes okay yeah this one is meh it's definitely not as good as the black ops 2 or any I of the i have it on my spreadsheet here that it it's not a one yeah. shot like one i think it stops until four 19, yeah 19 no. fully upgraded oh yeah that's i'm gonna say meh it's definitely not a good spawn room weapon so i remember using this Especially on for exos yeah i remember using it on outbreak and it, you have to like literally use almost an entire clip on like round five i mean partially has to do with i have bad aim but still it's definitely not great uh next up is the lynx which is also from advanced and warfare it's kind of the same way it's just not really good in an exo situation. Iron Man, I mean, doesn't the lynx have like a ridiculous amount of recoil as well yeah like i remember and shooting it and it just goes like almost 40 at a 45 degree angle after you shoot it <laughs> yeah and like at least when you start to upgrade it a little bit you can kind of hip fire it pretty fast but like at the oh same yeah time, I remember. hip firing a sniper so. yeah i think i think you move bad, really slow honestly with it too. uh next up is the springfield i think we can just say yikes i mean yeah, just put that straight yikes. <laughs> i don't think we need to really explain anything about that all right m14 from black ops 3 this one's better than the any other version because it's actually like strong like way it's further one shot to around 33 a one shot wow that's amazing i would say like yep. they they glowed up the m14 big time <laughs> all right next up is the mx grand dude i actually like this weapon the only downside it has was you have to shoot all the ammo to reload but like other than that this thing deals a lot of headshot damage and it's really strong i would i use it on zns all the time i would say this one's also amazing behind the m14 slightly behind the m14 since it's only one shot to 27 yeah but i mean it's still fun to use too and it has a large clip like i think it's 40 when you pack a punch it or something like that uh next up is the shiva i don't like the shiva a lot i th i think it's worse than the m14 i'm gonna be honest with you like it's better than like some weapons but like it's better damage wise but like in terms of it's in black ops 3 though like you could use this for high rounds and as long as you well, have yeah, an alternate ammo type you put know? an aat on it and then any weapons good, but like <laughs> yeah um i would say the bottom of good personally like behind the m14 yeah because like obviously it's usable it's just not fun to use <laughs> uh next up is the locust i think this one's amazing it deals a lot of damage really good in black ops 3 like all the black ops 3 snipers are definitely usable which was a kind of a problem in some other zombies iterations um i would say it's amazing Dude. And again you could probably say that about every black ops 3 weapon every black ops 3 weapon is usable but it's like at the same time you're going for the dingo or something like that yeah and or the draken which is the next one which is definitely yep. a pseudo wonder weapon without a doubt it's like regardless of damage everyone takes the draken and you just got to remove the scope from it and have like a red dot in your set i i think it's definitely one of the best wonder weapons or not wonder weapons but just marksman rifles next up is the svg i think it's in the same boat as the locust I'd it's not as good as bit. the locust but it's yeah i'd probably put it a little bit lower okay we'll put it in good above the dragon off because it does take a little while to shoot each shot uh next up is i have no idea what this, this is the volk goliath this is basically the one shot variant of the one shot epic variant of the volk that shoots uh one bullet at a time it's semi-auto and it just fires a more powerful shot i'm gonna take your word what do you think i 
Yeah, I literally just unlocked it. Like, I've heard that it's not really the greatest. Let's see, do I have... I was literally just messing around with this thing today. So yeah, uh, 17, 22. Yeah, I don't have the full things, but yeah. Only 17, or 22 double packed, 17 single packed. Not really the greatest. Just kind of very meh. Okay, we'll put it in meh. And especially with it being the Volk, because on a lot of maps... Well, that's like um, the a futuristic AK-47 type of Yeah, map. but like I don't even remember on Spaceland and stuff like that, it's not on the box, or it's not in the wheel. It's just on the wall, so it's a very overlooked weapon. All right, next up is, I think the... Is this the Raw or the Titan? That is the G-Rail. G-Rail, yeah, way off on that one. Is this That's another the, uh, single shot variant? Um, there are a couple variants that can make that can turn this thing into a burst or full auto, but by default, it is a single shot. Uh, basically, this thing, if you ADS and hold down the ADS, it gives a charge shot. It's really not that good. Um, is this another meh then, you think? The single shot alone, yes. If you put it automatic, it's okay. But okay. if it's if it's semi-auto, it's not really that good. We'll put it at meh then. We'll put it above the links in the Barrett. All right, next up. KBS I... Longbow. Oh, that one was like, all right. That if it were on Spaceland, it would be a pseudo wonder weapon. If it were on any other map, then it would just be amazing. I, I do remember it being really good. Does. Um, like the exquisite really does make this thing good. So if you put the exquisite on this thing. Yeah, but doesn't okay, that so make it's... every other weapon good too? <laughs> no for the most part for the most part yes so single pack 37 double pack 46 with the exquisite 62. wow yeah that's really good all right uh next up is this the dmr yeah that's the dmr actually that's the that's a variant of the dmr so this variant of the dmr instead of having to reload if you get a headshot it auto refills the clip oh that's pretty cool that's useful then uh what do you think for this one i don't really remember using it very much uh it is slightly worse than the m1 in terms of damage but personally i do like the dmr a little bit better okay even though m1 is a wall weapon and stuff like that uh, most people you would think probably it's, disagree you think it's good i'd probably say it's middle of the row compared to most of the other snipers in the game uh arasaka i think we can agree that that's just them, yikes <laughs> I mean, the Arasaka is better than the Springfield, I think, at least. By like a round or two. Yeah, <laughs> true. We'll put it in the egg. Uh, above the Springfield, though. <laughs> Next up. Um, uh, just the regular DMR. I think we'll just put it behind it. Good as well. It's kind of the same. I don't think we needed to do all the variants. So it makes it a little obnoxious. Yeah, but. I didn't really want to include that many variants but... yeah uh next is uh, the widowmaker maybe? widowmaker yeah um i never picked this thing up yeah it's like a wannabe it's a yeah, wannabe it's a, intervention it's and it's sniper. not as good <laughs> well i mean the tf141 is the intervention oh yeah, yeah one. you're right this one's a burst this one's a two burst sniper it i never picked this that's thing so up. that's so weird yeah we'll put it in math so then the tf141 it's, like, it's like not really good it's not really good because if you use scope dollars then obviously both of those bullets will hit two of your scope dollar activations oh yeah that's garbage then we don't want that get that out of here i use the m m1 garand for scope dollars all the time tf141 so the the wannabe intervention because it's not as good yeah, at least which one oh there's if two of them if you're going to, if you're going in order that's the ebr 800 okay well this one right here is tf141 right oh uh, no it is one, an ebr you're right yeah it's really hard to it's really hard to read if it's yeah if I, you guys watch and realize. think it's hard to read it's worse for i didn't me. realize how uh how i gotta put on my glasses for this black thing. ops 4 uh text was when i did this but yeah the tf141 is next to the world war ii garand so this is just the base variant of the ebr and i think it's bad the reason that it's bad it's it's an energy weapon and energy weapons do not uh get you collats okay so, it, so it's what's not the really what's the good. variant version do the then? variant allows you to get collaterals and fixes it so it's mad okay we'll say it's mad uh next up can't read this one either uh next up is the trick 50. basically one shot reload one yeah, shot reload that, and then I, I thought it was bad but what about very the, underwhelming yeah what about the epic variant the epic variant is basically just turns it into a 725 two shots reload i mean i still think that's pretty bad too like i remember everyone hated this weapon because of how much you had to reload it like that just made it bad. Yep. uh next up is the pro something proteus yeah I, 
I don't know if you remember using this at launch, like when it came out. I didn't play multiplayer. But not I know not, not multiplayer. I'm talking about zombies. Like I got this from the the weapon wheel or whatever. The, the wheel. And you could literally just like hold down the trigger or like ADS and shoot. Even if you weren't like aimed perfectly at a zombie and it would headshot it every time. Like it was yeah, it did that disgusting. In yeah, I didn't play multiplayer in IW, let's be real here, but I remember I it being really I, good in zombies. I just saw clips of that. Yeah, it was it was good and then they patched it eventually but i would say it's but the proteus good. is still a good weapon I, yeah i don't I, the proteus is a sleeper weapon really i'm gonna put it like, above some of these I like think i think it was, it's probably the best so again thinking thinking of it in space land so uh 30 oh yeah 39 double pack 54 with the exquisite yeah i mean that's solid uh next up another one that i'm not the sure. m1 oh, okay this one's amazing I would say it was strong and you like scope dollars was the thing and plus it was in the spawn room so you could buy it right away yep i think it's good so now we have the 19 single pack 31 double pack 47 with the exquisite yeah it was solid wind core is super overrated exquisite's better uh next up is tf141 now we'll say man 36 yeah. i think it's better than the than all of these though like i just wanted the regular intervention they had to do the task force 141 thing to tie it in with world uh modern warfare 2 which is not the same next up is the m1 grand we need to go a little bit faster through these we're taking a while um so the m1, m1 grand, grand. Of two, this one was i would say i would say this thing's pretty amazing whenever you pack a bunch of it like yeah the the um whenever you pack a bunch of it and it goes into the like two round burst it's kind of annoying but it is really powerful so All i right. would say it's we'll keep it amazing. amazing uh car 98 or right down into yike well that one, yeah i crazy rabbit is gonna get mad but oh well <laughs> uh svt 40. this right. thing this thing does not was... have enough in the clip yeah wasn't this one fully auto though this one's fully auto this one was really really good clip. like it was the meta weapon to use on darkest like, shore it just needs a bigger clip yeah you're right well i'm gonna put it in good because i remember using this and like everyone used it on darkest shore because it was like the best then then they nerfed it, could, it. it just needs a bigger clip all right really yeah true next up is the m1a1 carbine this one's a starter weapon and i pretty much never use this thing this yeah. one's locked behind the starter weapons put it in bad um the gewehr 43 from world war ii i don't even remember using this very much either it's probably in the same boat as the m1 uh one shot to 29 unpacked packed okay i would say it's a little bit underwhelming though yeah we'll put it in bad behind the m1 type 5 is pretty good though type 5 yeah i don't remember That's using this here. at all this has a variant that allows it to or that uh gives it increased headshot damage and it has one of the best uh weapon specs in the game i like this weapon oh good yeah i put it at good probably i behind. wouldn't say it's not i wouldn't say it's amazing but it's really good okay uh car 98 from world war ii so this is another starting another weapon starting and it was weapon. bad i didn't like it um lee and dude world war ii I has so thing. many sniper rifles it's ridiculous i hate this thing because every single time you shoot it it would duck the audio i hate this thing okay we'll, we'll say bad uh carabin Ooh, i remember using this one and I, this was a dlc it's actually weapon. fairly it, it's not a dlc weapon i thought it's it actually was... fairly good okay. it's kind of like an svu but a little bit less damage okay i mean we'll put it's it okay we'll put it in good you're right about yeah uh the m1903 this was the one with the scope on the side of it right i don't think so okay well i don't remember much about world war ii that's kind of a whole section of my brain that i kind of just forgot about, Shut up out of. <laughs> yeah um I, li literally i can't remember any of these three at all my thing with world war ii is it's most of the time it's like all of these uh all the it, dlc weapons the are thing actually about, good but the ones that were in the game from the beginning really kind of lackluster so honestly like i'm just gonna i don't think these are good i don't remember using them like what do you think meh yeah i'd probably put the m1903 at meh okay what about the type 38 type 38 is good not okay. quite amazing but okay um, when i think of when i think of the world war ii snipers i kind of think there's like these three powerhouse snipers and the type 38 is the weakest of those three okay in my opinion so now we have the lever action it's good if you have it iron sighted not quite as powerful but it's fairly good okay we'll put it in at the bottom 
uh scope car 98 it's better than the car 98 well it deals the same amount of damage as the packed car 98 kit it seems better though like i don't know it's just it makes perfect <laughs> sense though you put a scope on it and all of a sudden you get double tap yeah do you want to put it in bad it's bad it's, it's much it better than these knocked, for being on knocked i just like maybe if it were on any other map but for knocked not really that good all right we'll put it at the top of yikes better than the regular one though uh ptrs 41 so i don't think this is the world at war one right no this is the world war two one uh yeah because i could tell by the crazy ridiculous camo it has which is totally realistic i the main problem is the slow ads and no oh assist. yeah i remember that we'll put it in bad half of the world war ii snipers have aim assist and half of them don't all right the uh, the pseudo uh, wonder weapon yeah i don't delisle. i don't know how to say it delisle delisle Delisle. Okay. Yeah, this one is like the scavenger with the explosions, right? Uh, what you do is you basically shoot the ground, this light comes up, and it'll basically aimbot to the zombies' heads. And sometimes it'll collateral, but once you get into the higher rounds, it'll kind of all converge on one zombie to keep uh to keep hitting. So that's until, just, I uh, remember that was the DLC weapon, and everyone thought it was like amazing when it came out, I think. So the Delisle can one shot to 43 and its ability, that light thing that I was talking about, can one shot up to 63. Wow, that's really good. Um, three line it's rifle. It's still not the best. It's still not the best in the game. We'll get to that one eventually, I guess. Yep. Uh, three line rifle. Uh, I was just looking at this. Was this the one? Uh, yeah, this was the trash one that I was. Okay, we'll put it in bad today. right away. Uh, SDK nine millimeter. This is pseudo wonder weapon right here. Okay, explain this one to me, please. Okay, so this is basically the World War II version of the KBS longbow to where it also does that like shotgun effect, but this thing can one shot to 66. Wow, that's pretty solid. All right, we'll keep it there. Uh, next up is the WZ-35. I, this is another DLC Sweet. weapon I don't remember. This is another good one. Uh, I think I was also messing around with this thing today. We'll put it in uh, good. See, yeah, it's fine. 43, yeah. All right, uh, M36. This thing is this thing is a yikes not not like actual yikes but the problem with this thing we'll is put it in it bad reload. yeah <laughs> what what it was the reload time and like it has a clip of 10 and it reloads one at a time so yeah any of those are yikes for me all right next up is this world or, or essex black ops 4 oh yikes 100 <laughs> percent yeah big yikes i hated getting that dark matter uh auger dmr the operator mod yeah. is a burst right i like the operator mod was that it was a burst though correct yeah it's a two round burst okay i thought i thought this one was this weapon was good i wouldn't say it's amazing but it was like i remember buying it off the wall and blood and of the it's dead a wall weapon so it, yeah. it was pretty fun to just mess around with on the wall with the operator mod yeah i just I like this weapon. don't open the showers door and like you can let all the zombies pour in and you can just headshot yeah. them pretty quick uh we'll put the other one at good as well i don't think that's too much of a difference um this is the sdk sdm sdm yeah uh already forgetting black ops 4 not that i hate the game it's just so many weapons um this one was not as good we're gonna put it in meh it's not as good as the auger um the m1a1 carbine this one is kind of a meh as well to me what do you think i don't like the world at war one like i think it's fire rate cap is a little bit like to yeah we'll good. put it in meh above the sdm like even though the garand and the carbine and the gewehr all deal the same amount of damage they just the yeah. fire rate cap on the carbine like even if it goes full auto when you pack it it's just i i hate the i hate the fire rate cap on it all right next one here it's a paladin this is the one this, this is, is the one with the explosive rounds. bottom of bad it was so bad i hated getting this gun done in black ops 4 because it only kills Just one zombie yeah so dumb like yeah. why why are we having snipers why are, yeah exactly zombie? we're gonna roast the black ops cold war snipers in a minute uh this is the Koshka. Koshka. Another weapon that I barely ever picked up because it's not in the box. 4,500 off the yes. wall? Are you kidding me? Yes. What the hell? <laughs> the only time I buy this weapon is on, getting a gold. on classified to do the Richtofen jump scare. That's the only time because I'm too lazy to hit the box. I just get 4,500. And that was the jump scare that I asked Jason Blundell to add into the game. So it has a special and place in my heart. Even but on, it's not even on the wall anymore. Put it in good. I mean, it's not even on the box anymore. Yeah. No idea what this one is. Outlaw. That one was good. I enjoyed it. I like the game. Outlaw. Yeah. 
they had a cool the variant too uh what's the next one the vendetta i think the vendetta is just a worse sdm like it's got the faster fire rate but i think it's just a worse sdm all right we'll put it behind the sdm um i can't locus. even read these what is it tempest the locust locust oh oh this is the dlc version it's not as good as the black ops 3 one nope but i still think it's like decent we'll put it in good um and then the javelina bad i think the javelina is really good when you get the attachments it's not really that good when you don't have the attachments because you reload one at a time but once you get the attachments once you get the fast mags on it it's solid we'll put it in meh then uh pellington good not great but it's good the tundra is better than the pellington yeah i'd say out of the three the tundra is the best and then yeah and then the m82 automatic say, yikes. yikes yeah <laughs> dude it sucks and then the zrg is even more of a yike it. dude haven't even used it oh my gosh the zrg is garbage dude you cannot get collaterals when it's pack a punch like they're non-existent and that's probably a glitch on Treyarch's end, but still, like, it's terrible. Or, you know, maybe they could just add double tap. That'd be cool. I mean, yeah, they could do that to add penetration damage. Apparently, it's coming. I don't know when, though. Uh, next is the Gewehr. This one is definitely better than the M1A1 Carbine. I honestly, I would say good. I Like, it's a really good starting weapon. I think it's, like, up there with the M14. I like, I like using Gewehr better than... Yeah, I like Gewehr. using it on Doris a lot. Uh, Swiss Cave... 31 so this is the new yeah, new new sniper it. that came out like last week um this one's better than like i think every sniper except for the tundra and the pellington because it can get collaterals i would say it's up there and good like it's definitely a lot better than the crg and the m82 because it actually so gets collaterals that. but it can only kill two in one shot uh next up is the type 63. this gun's not terrible but it's not like great either it's a wall I weapon feel like the type and the dmr are just yeah not anything special i will we'll, we'll say meh like i think for both of them uh next up is the m1 garand once again deals the same amount of damage as the gewehr and the carbine it's literally just are you ping gang or <laughs> gewehr gang ping <laughs> yeah uh, we'll put it in good as well m14 black ops 1 we'll put it behind the black ops 2 version it's better than the shiva in my opinion i guess i forgot to put the world at war pp at the uh, it's, it's this, all but... good yeah and what about those like burst weapons in uh black ops i didn't 4? include the burst weapons like when i was saying like marksman oh, okay. rifles i meant like kind of the the snipers and the like one shot, shot. Weapons. Yeah, yeah okay so the fnfal from bo1 it's a it's like the same i would say as this one it's pretty much comparable and the smr yikes i mean it can one shot to like round nine or something like that when it's packed but like that that's that's very yikes it's a toss just, up for this because it doesn't we'll put we'll put it in yikes i think that's fair i mean war machine's better true if you really think about it especially when, when you pack when we're, when we're including upgrades yeah and then the the world at war PT, uh, ptrs yeah i forgot i forgot to put that on here that one was all right i would one. say like good maybe bottom of good it's pretty strong yeah i i like Try and attempt to the quick scope with it. Main drawback is just its uh, mobility or lack of mobility. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys. Well, that is all of the snipers and marksman rifles rank. Uh, if you disagree with any of these, definitely let me know. Uh, there were a lot of ones that I didn't know. Probably like I don't know, fourth of them, maybe. Maybe not that much. I don't know. Like I, I vaguely remember a lot of the World War II weapons because. I would always go like when they were added new stuff i would go and try to get them out of the box and there's so many weapons on the box crazy i definitely remember using them all but i don't remember like you know using them extensively after one game or whatever but overall i mean the dsr the draken the delisle sdk the svu like a lot of those weapons are very good and they're still used to this day especially by me yeah guys and thanks again lucario for giving us context on like most of these guns that i don't remember thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one let me know what ranking you want to see next down below in the comment section and check out my maps ranking which everyone disagreed with if you want to check that one out uh from like last week or the week before i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Thank <laughs> you.